In this five-part video series, I'll show you how I set up Maya so that I can easily animate with a MetaHuman. Then I'll show you how to transfer that animation to Unreal Engine 5 for final rendering. If you follow along, you'll end up with this. It may not look like much, but putting together this short animation will actually show you all the skills you need to start making your own films with MetaHumans in Maya, and then render them in the highest quality inside Unreal Engine. I'm using Maya because currently I've found it's the best way to achieve animation with MetaHumans. The great news is that Maya is available for less than $300 a year for indies. I put a link in the description below for how to get this special price. All right, in this first video, you'll end up with this. So you'll have your character inside Maya with a body and face rig, and you'll have a motion capture animation added to the body. Now, don't worry, in the end, you'll end up with clothes and hair again, but in Maya, you work without those things. In the second video, you'll add facial animation like blinks and eye movement. In the third video, you'll add film lights to the scene, position your cameras, and then edit the cameras so they switch as it plays. You'll also turn on depth of field and set manual focus for each camera. In the fourth video, you'll take your completed animation and transfer it to Unreal. Then in the final video, you'll record everything in Unreal and clean it up and then export a final movie. And I'll go through the next things you can do if you want to take this even further. OK, let's get started. Step 1. Transfer MetaHuman to Maya. First, open up the standalone version of Bridge. Then click on the MetaHumans tab. Then MetaHumans presets UE5. Scroll down and find the Erno MetaHuman. And click on the tile. Then on the right hand side, click on this button. Then click on Download Settings. Then click on the Models tab, and make sure MetaHumans is set to U Asset plus Source Asset. Then click Back. Then in the same little menu, go to Export Settings. Then click the Models tab, and make sure MetaHumans is set here as well to U Asset plus Source Asset. Then click on the Export Target tab, and make sure the Export Target is set to Maya. Then click Back. Now you can go ahead and click Download to download the source files. Once it's finished downloading, Open up Maya 2022 and start a new blank scene. Then back in Bridge, press Export. In Maya, just click Yes to the dialog box. Then once the transfer finishes, click OK to the unsupported nodes error. Step 2. Set up MetaHuman in Maya. Now go to the File menu, Save Scene As, and save it as Erno underscore HIK Rig. In the top right corner of the interface, make sure that the workspace is set to Maya Classic. Now at the top of the viewport, turn on the Textured button, and the Use All Lights button. Now we need to fix the scene so it's Y up and not Z up. Go into the Windows menu, Settings Preferences, Preferences, and first click on Settings. Then change Up Axis to Y. While we're in here, we should change some other preferences. So click on Color Management, and turn off the checkbox next to Enable Color Management. Now go to Settings, Animation, and change the new HIK Curve default to Independent Euler Angle Curves. Now click Save. In the Outliner, click on Root DRV. Then in the Channel Editor, change Rotate X to negative 90. In the Outliner, twirl down Rig and then Head Group. Then click on Head Rig Group. And then in the Channel Editor, change the Rotate X to negative 90. In the Viewport, go to the View menu, and go View Along Axis, negative Z. Now zoom out so you've got a wide shot. Hold down Alt and Middle Mouse Drag to pan around, and frame up your MetaHuman so you can see him from head to toe. Step 3. Add a body FKIK rig to the MetaHuman. The MetaHuman source file comes with a facial rig, but not a body rig, so let's add a body rig that supports FK and IK. We first need to change the character into a T-pose to make this work. In the viewport, click in a blank area to deselect everything. Now go to the Show menu, and turn on Joints. In the same Show menu, turn off Polygons. In the viewport, click on the right upper arm joint. Then hold down Shift and click the upper left arm joint. In the channel box, change Rotate Y to negative 54. In the viewport, click in a blank area to deselect everything. Then click the right lower arm. 
Hold down shift and click the left lower arm. Then in the channel box, change rotate Z to 36. Okay, so we now have our T-pose. Now let's characterize the skeleton. Click on the brown root bone between the legs. Open up the human IK panel. If you don't have this panel visible, go to the window menu, animation editors, human IK, and I'd suggest you move it into a tab like this. Okay, click on create character definition. Select the root bone again, then click on the blue button, and then go edit character definition, load character definition template. Then in the template dropdown, choose MetaHuman UE5 V1. Then click on match all bones with prefix and delete all text from the text box. Then click OK. Once it's finished processing, click the padlock icon to lock the bone setup. Change the source dropdown to control rig to generate the human IK control rig. Now click the blue button and choose rename character. Call it Erno HIK, one word, and click OK. In the viewport, go to the show menu and turn off joints. In the same show menu, turn on polygons. Now go up to the file menu and choose save scene. It already has the correct naming. Step four, create new animation scene in Maya. Go back into the file menu and go new scene. Now in the file menu, go save scene as, and save this as erno underscore anim01 underscore before mocap. Now we need to add the rigged metahuman to this scene and we're gonna do that via referencing. Go file menu, create reference. Then find the Erno HIK rig file that you made, but don't click OK yet. On the right hand side, make sure use namespaces is checked. Then choose use selected namespace as parent and add new namespace string and type in Erno in capital letters. Then click on reference. At the top of the viewport, turn on the textured button and then turn on the Use All Lights button. Go into the Show menu and turn off Joints. Then in the viewport, go into the View submenu, View Along Axis, Negative Z. Then middle mouse scroll down to zoom back. Hold down Alt and middle mouse drag to pan around and frame up your metahuman so you can see him from head to toe. If the skin looks dark red and oversaturated, you need to turn off color management again. Go into the Windows menu, Settings Preferences, Preferences, and click on Color Management. Turn off the checkbox next to Enable Color Management, and click Save. Step 5. Add cameras to the Maya scene. Go up to the Create menu, Cameras, Camera. In the Outliner, double click on it to rename, and name it, all caps, Maya Cam 01. Double click the camera's icon in the outliner to open the attribute editor. Under Film Back, change the Film Gate drop down to 70mm projection. This will give you a filmic aspect ratio of 2.28 to 1. In the outliner, click Maya Cam 01. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Make sure the second camera is named Maya Cam 02. Duplicate it again. And it should be named Maya Cam 03. Step 6 Set up timeline for animation. In the timeline at the bottom of Maya, change the two numbers on the left to 0. That makes the scene animation start at frame 0. Then change both of the numbers on the right to 240. OK, so the duration of the scene is 240 frames, and our region of view is 240 frames, so we're seeing the whole thing. In the timeline at the bottom of the interface, make sure the scene is set to 24 frames per second. Go down to the bottom right of the interface and click on the Running Man icon, which is Animation Preferences. And when it pops up, make sure the playback speed is set to 24 FPS X1. Make sure that Update View is set to All, and then click Save. Now in the bottom right of the interface, make sure the Cached Playback button is activated. This means when you press play on the viewport, it may play back slowly the first time, but when it loops, it should play in real time at 24 frames per second if your graphics card can handle it. Now go up to display, 
heads up display and turn on frame rate. This will show you exactly what frame rate your viewport is actually showing and will help you optimize viewport performance later on. When you're playing back, if this number is less than 24, it means that it's not showing you all of the frames and it's skipping some. Step seven, set up viewports for animation. I'm gonna click the attribute editor here just to close it. So I've got a bit more room in the viewports. Now to make animation easier, let's set up a three-way split viewport. And it also helps you see the MetaHuman face rig GUI properly. So in the viewport, go to the panel submenu, layouts, and then choose three panels split bottom. In the bottom right viewport, go to the panel submenu, perspective, then click on Maya Cam 01. Click in the viewport and use the mouse scroll wheel to move the camera backwards so you can see the metahuman in the frame. Hold down Alt and middle mouse drag to pan around. And frame up your metahuman so you can see him from the top of his head to just below the belly button. Make sure the textured button is on and the use all lights button is on. Go into the show menu and turn off joints. Go to the view submenu, hover over camera settings and then choose Film Gate. From now on, I'll also refer to this viewport as the Film View. In the top viewport, go to the Panel submenu and choose Perspective Persp. This is your viewport to fly around the scene and check things out. Frame up your MetaHuman so you can see him from head to toe. In the bottom left viewport, go to the Panel submenu and choose Orthographic Front. This is the Face Rig viewport, so I turn off the Textured button and I turn off the Use All Lights button. There's a button for anti-aliasing, which I usually keep off, just because the performance hit is massive, even with an RTX 3090. But I do turn it on occasionally, because it makes the facial rig buttons easy to see. Zoom and pan around the viewport to frame up the facial rig GUI. Now go to the File menu, and go Save Scene. So your progress up to now will be saved as Erno Anim01 before mocap. Go back to the File menu, go Save Scene As, and save this as Erno Anim02 mocap only. Step eight, add mocap animation. Now let's add a simple mocap animation. Maya comes with some of these that are already rigged with human IK, so let's use one of those. Go to frame zero of your animation. Now go to the Windows menu, open the content browser. On the left side, click on the examples tab if it's not already active. Click to open the examples folder, then animation, Motion Capture, FBX. Double click on the Look Around animation. Close the content browser because for some reason in Maya 2022, it throws up errors if you keep it open. In the outliner, click on Look Around Reference. Press H on the keyboard to hide it. In the Human IK tab, change the source dropdown to Look Around. Go to frame zero and press Alt-V on the keyboard to play. If you don't have a super fast computer, you might see that the viewport is below 24 frames per second, even after it plays through once and starts looping. That's because there are three elements of the scene that are slowing Maya down and you can easily hide them. But even if you've got a fast machine, this can improve performance. In the outliner, if it's not already hidden, which is shown by really faint text, click on Erno DHI Head Spino 4. Press H on the keyboard. Then in the outliner, if it's not already hidden, click on Erno DHI Body Root, press H on the keyboard. And lastly, in the outliner, if it's not already hidden, click on Erno Erno HIK Control Reference. Press H on the keyboard. Go to frame zero and press Alt on the keyboard to play. You should get faster viewport playback. It should be at least 24 frames per second if you're on a graphics card like a GTX 3090 or better. Now go back to frame zero. Step nine, bake mocap to body control rig. The mocap animation is playing on our metahuman, but it's not actually baked onto our character. Go to the human IK tab and press the blue button. Hover over bake and choose bake to control rig. It will take 30 seconds or so to go through every frame and bake it. Now change the character drop down to look around. Click on the definition tab and press the trash icon. Click yes to the warning that comes up. Now in the outliner, click on look around reference and press delete on the keyboard.
Go to frame zero, click in the bottom right viewport, and press Alt V to play through. Then stop the playback and go back to frame zero. Now in the bottom right viewport, make sure your metahuman is centered in the frame, and the frame is from just above the top of its head to just before its wrists. And then in the top viewport, just make sure that you can see the entire metahuman. And the bottom left, make sure you can see the entire facial rig. Now go to the file menu and go save scene. So your progress up to now will be saved as Erno Anim 2 mocap only. Okay, in the next video in this series, you'll add facial animation in Maya. I hope you're enjoying this so far. Drop me a comment below and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.